right. Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today, this is part of the Leaving a Historical Legacy. I'm here with Art Swanson. Art, good to see you. Yes, sir. Good to see you. So nice <laughs> to see Art. And Art has an amazing car, naturally, which is why we're here. Art, share with us what you brought today. Well, this car is a 1942 Cadillac 62 Series two-door fastback. And as far as I know, or have been able to find out, there are only four of these in the country. And <laughs> this is one of the four. One of the four. And you brought this car to a show a couple of years ago and we got best of show. Well, I took it to the Cadillac LaSalle Grand National right after we finished it. Now, it took me five years to find the parts for this car. But uh, took it to the Grand National to try it out. Yeah. And uh, it was in the summer beginning in Indiana. And uh, by golly, we got a first in class and best of show. That's amazing. And it has a special number on it, and it's recorded in the main office on the East Coast. It's a big deal. And I want to show people what this car originally looked like when he brought it. That's his trailer. That's on the trailer. So you can see that. I'm going to grab the camera, Art, as I usually do. So Art, and you've got a couple of cars, but uh, this Cadillac's got a special place for you. So how long have you had this car? Well, probably... 10 or 15 years. Okay. 10 years, somewhere in between there. And, and this car, you, as you shared, it's a 42. It's got some special features to us. You know what? Let's do this. Let's let's go right to the car, shall we? Okay. Let's do that. First of all, step right back with me, Art, for just a minute. I want to show people the overall look of the side of this car because this is a grand vehicle. That's, you can just take that in for a moment. That's just wonderful. Look at the styling there. And as a two-door, we'll watch that. As a two-door, some of the special features is look at how the doors work with the fenders. I just want to open that door so people kind of get how that works there. See how that's working? And you can hear how it shuts just wonderfully. The mirrors off the side, the post in the center of the split windows. A wonderful logos in the hubcap. Those are standard. And the 62 series was the higher end. That, that was the, yes. And well, I've got you here. What's the reaction when you drive this thing when people see you? <laughs> well, a lot of people don't actually recognize it. It's pretty, pretty old when you think about it. But there are people who wave at me on the road. Uh, you hope maybe it's some pretty girls who wave at you. <laughs> At any rate, yeah. we get some high holes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lights blinking and etc. Yeah. On the car, so. Let's keep showing the car. Okay. All right. So we've got the wonderful way the door opens up there. You can see how that works, and the handle moves down. We'll show you more of that. These wonderful back windows. Let me show you the back of the fastback. That's just wonderful, right there. I can try to roll it up. It looks great, just the way it is. And look at the back, I almost call it jewelry on this car, more so than anything else. And the wonderful Cadillac logo, and even how this is all presenting the license plate, and the wonderful Bumperettes. And, and Art, show me this piece here. This is kind of interesting. Gas that's, tank. That's where the gas, gas comes cap. in. That's pretty cool. I got an email. Yeah. The car had been stolen, and uh, the police were called, and they came, and the guys said, well, it's gone. They took off in that direction, so the police took off to see if they couldn't catch up with this car. Yeah. Uh, they had thought it hadn't been gone too long, so they yeah. might, might have a chance. So they were cruising down the road, <laughs> pretty good speed, and uh, all of a sudden, one of the, the guy, passenger guy looked over, he said, hey, the car is in the gas station. So they whipped around, pulled in the gas station, nobody was there, just the car. And the police talked to the station guy, and he said, yeah, he said, they come roaring in here, and they fiddled around and fiddled around, 
And finally they took off running. They couldn't figure out where to put the gas in the car. <laughs> That is great. All right, that's fantastic. Let me show these mud areas here. All right, I'm going to open it up. Is that all right? Yep. And look at the. Stop. St do me a favor. Stand right next to it because I want to show people the actual physical size of this door. There's a person. <laughs> There's a door. The, the two doors are. The door is a little larger because. People have to get into the back. Look at the wood. And speaking of the back, look at the look out the back. A beautiful headliner, and there's a lot of headliner here. I want to kind of give people, if you were driving the car, you'd have that look. Let's get into the pieces here. Also, notice how there's a almost a foot pad there. But look at this beautiful centerpiece. It's like a paperweight with a Cadillac logo in the center, center of it. And here's the gauges. Seats are done in wool broadcloth. Wool broadcloth. And what is this one for? That's the headlights. Headlights. And over to the right a little further is the starter button. That's the starter button Love right the there. Okay. And this is a handbrake? Yes. Okay. Turn signal. Even the dry reverse low, and we get our second uh, 1941 stock. 1941 was right. the first year for Cadillac to have the hydromatic transmission, which they had previously tried out on Oldsmobile and decided it was good enough for Cadillac. So, 41 was the first year, and uh, there weren't very many of these made, of course. The production was cut off early February in 42. Chrome went on high priority. We're lucky to have chrome on this car. Yeah. Because chrome was on high priority after that. And occasionally you see a 42 car at a car show and the chrome is painted. And you think, gee, the guy might have been a little cheap. He didn't want to go through what it takes to get him chromed. Not so. Those were called blackout cars and they came out of production painted. And share why, share why that was a big deal in that time period it's kind of the, for the history lesson for viewers. Well, the thing is that uh, chrome was used in chrome alloy steel and uh, this was very very much used by the government it's a high grade high high priced steel chrome yeah. alloy and chrome was put on priority and couldn't be used on any civilian stuff be because of the war absolutely high priority right let's take a look under the hood and let me, let me take a look at the front go ahead we've got this wonderful antenna it's a vacuum antenna, by the way. Is it really? Yes. It has a button on the radio, and the antenna goes up and down. There's Did a cylinder it? under there. Cool. All right, let me show the front before we... I want to do two things. One is I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to try to... the light. Not great for you. No, it looks pretty good. That looks great. And let's just feature... The Cadillac logo, and look at this wonderful crest on here. And take a look at our beautiful hood ornament. That's wonderful. And that hood, or that hood ornament has a purpose. Show us how this works, please. I'm not getting fresh with this girl. It's just, <laughs> this is what you do. <laughs> Heavy hood. Heavy hood. Very. Look at the look at the height. Just stand please next to it. Look at the height on that hood. <laughs> that's up there. I mean that might be nine eight feet tall or something. I mean that's that's up there. So we've got a flathead engine and all of the details. Now the interesting thing is the exhaust manu manifold is right here and Art was sharing it. It connects up here. Cross cross over there. Cross over. And both pieces come together into the center here. Not for the exhaust. Right, right. This the, is for the for the for the water. But water. Here's, here's the exhaust and asbestos going down. One pipe. One pipe. So it all comes out right here. Yeah. Got it. And we've got the flat fan and the blades. And there's a wonderful little logo there. 
Is there a uh, you know plate for the car kind of showing? Is that is that the plate? As far as I know. Yeah, that's probably. It. Okay, six volt. The window washers. Yeah, let's go on this side and take a look at that. Sure. Now, what do we have here? Is this gas filter? Fuel pump. Fuel pump. Okay. And this looks like a breather. That's the oil. Oil breather. Fill, and that's where you check the oil. And let's. And that's the washer, window washer. Window washer. Just like that. I'm going to just zone in on a few of these little badges just because they might be some of the first time we've ever been able to read them under here. And just like that. Okay. All right, let's start her up while we have the hood open, please. Let's oh. keep the hood open. We'll start her. I'll get a little exhaust note. But even look at the windshield wipers. Sure. You got this wonderful. Is that smooth, isn't it? How about that? <laughs> Let me get a little exhaust note. I can hear it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wonderful. It's just wonderful. All right, let's shut her down. And come on out. Show people just the underside of that hood as well. Oh, that all sets up. And let's shut the hood. Just like that. Art, what a treat. Thanks so much for being on My Car Story. Well, that'll only be $8.95. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure I get that to you. Thanks, Art. Okay.